Hey guys, it's Bear with Gimby Camper. I'm coming at you today with part two of my series on how to uh, put a bed in your camper that's not the exact fit. But yesterday we went over kind of how to trim a mattress, a foam mattress to fit in a smaller space. And today we're going the opposite way and we're trying to fit a queen size bed that's a regular queen size bed onto an area that's a camper queen. Um, when I had the the other mattress, the foam mattress on there, it just hung over the end. It kind of got on my nerves because it felt real floppy when you sit down on the end of it. But I never did anything about it. You could just trim it off if it's foam. We went over that. Uh, or you can support the end. And so one of the things that's got on my nerves real bad about it is when it was hanging over, is it was hard to open to get access to storage under there. And so I was having to reach my hand a foot under the mattress to grab the plywood to raise it up. Um, that was just kind of a pain. So I stopped getting in the storage as much because I just hated doing it. So the plan that I came up with was to build a, uh, basically like a couple of little shelves on the, uh, that supported the very ends. But in the middle, I wanted a handle where I could reach at the very end of the mattress and grab it and raise it up. And what I ended up doing was making a handle out of some uh, galvanized pipe that was half inch. But then that was an issue because it wouldn't sit down flat anymore. So then I had to cut out part of the uh, frame for the bed, which was most of the um, bracing material that they had there. So then I had to put more bracing material on there and I'll, I'll walk you guys through all that. Um, again, something you might not want to do if you got a, a brand new expensive camper. Um, but my camper is just an old project camper. So, you know, I'm more about utility versus, you know, everything looking nice and pretty. So, you know, there's not really a whole lot to this. I'll walk you guys through it and show you what we did. Um, but if you like it. And then be sure to like and subscribe, okay? This is a proof of concept. I have no idea if it's actually going to work. I got this Schumacher. Uh, power inverter station which is really a jump starter to run my CPAP. I'm going to hope that the inverter is strong enough to inflate this bed because I don't have any power here. First time I've ever used this thing. I think it's working. It says it's pulling 23 watts. This is taking forever. Um, it appears that one side's inflating uh, to a default level. The other side's not doing anything yet. I'm hoping that that's the way it's supposed to do. Um, but it looks like it's going to be a while, so I'll be back with you. Okay, so that got inflated. Um, now what we gotta do is take this piece of foam. You know, this is a pretty easy bed to put together. You just put the foam around the outside with the bottom uh, cover on. Put these in here, connect them to the pump. It automatically uh, pumps it up to a default level. You squeeze this in between the mattresses like this. And apparently I didn't even notice this before, but it's got a zipper that holds these two together after this gets mashed down in here. And then you just put the top on. There's also a little wrap of border here that goes around the top of the foam that you gotta be sure that it's all there. It's the hardest part to any. RV beds getting around it.
Okay guys, so obviously I have to uh, put some more bracing in for this bed because I cut a large chunk of it out and there's not that much to start with. So I got some uh, trim pieces here. We're just going to, that's just one by, uh, I think it's one by two. Um, I got it cut to fit. And uh, the way that we're gonna put it in there is with pocket screws. Uh, for, what you, for you guys that don't know what pocket screws are, there's this wonderful piece of equipment called a Craig jig. Basically, once you get this set up in here, you just uh, clamp this piece in, and you put the drill bit here, and it automatically puts an angled hole in your board. It's a very good, tight connection. So, let's do it. The biggest thing that I might need to go back and do eventually is put a small piece of plywood over the top of the handle that's pictured here because um, there is a little bit of a soft spot there in the bed, but I think that more of your weight is going to be on the side, so I think it's going to be fine, but if it's an issue, I'll just add another piece of plywood just covering that gap a little bit.